Welcome to Amerison Gaming and Tech. All software used in this tutorial will be linked in the description for easy reference. The main component you will need is VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. This enables you to pipe the output of YouTube, Sirenscape Online, or Sirenscape Fantasy Player to any other software on your PC. You could pipe it directly to Discord as a microphone input, but the sound quality is not that great. So we will use a Discord bot to get stereo output and the highest bit rate your server and content will support. Okay, let's head over to the VB Audio website, and we're going to download the VB Cable Virtual Audio Device latest version. Currently it's 4.3. Whatever version is the latest, please go ahead and download that. You're going to go to the folder that that file is in. You're going to right-click it. You're going to extract the whole thing. You're going to then go into this folder, and if you're 32-bit operating system, you're going to run the first setup. If you're 64-bit, you're going to run the setup with the x64. Most of you are going to be 64. So go ahead and make sure you right-click this file and click Run as Administrator. It will not work if you don't run as Administrator. You click Yes. You then install the driver. It'll ask you to trust Vincent Burel. You'll go ahead and say Yes, Install. Install complete and successful. You might reboot your system. I would say go ahead and reboot your system, so I'll be right back. After rebooting, you should see there is a new audio device in your playback devices. Yours might look slightly different than this and show more devices, perhaps like your monitor or headsets, but you want to make sure that one of the things that are listed there is the cable input, VB Virtual Audio Cable. Next step is to install Discord Audio Pipe. Let's go ahead and open up a browser and go to the GitHub link, scroll down, and you can download the latest release here. Click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the latest executable. Currently it's 2.2. Yours might be newer depending on when you download. Let's open up that folder, which will go to our downloads folder. And let's make sure that we're having a nice clean structure and go to right click, new, and folder. We're gonna call this Discord Audio Pipe. We're gonna place this executable inside of this folder. And because the downloads can get quite busy, and you might want to clear things out of here. We're going to drag this and drop this over to our documents folder. So let's go in the documents folder and let's open up the Discord audio pipe. Okay, since we downloaded this file from the internet, Windows doesn't trust it. So right click the folder and go to properties, and then you're going to unblock, which will allow Windows to run that executable. Also, we're going to click on view and ensure that file name extensions are shown. Then we're going to right click out in the white space, click new, and click on text document. Then you're going to name that token.txt. This is where we'll put the token from the Discord bot so that this Discord audio pipe can talk to your Discord. Now we're going to create the Discord bot. Open up the browser and let's go to Discord Developer Portal. Inside of here, you have to be logged in with the right account that has access to be able to create the bot on the server you wish to create. Click on new application. We're going to name this Amerisun's Sirenscape Bot. Under the bots, you now create the bot itself. There can be more than one bot underneath an application, so you could name this differently, but because this is just for one bot, this will work fine. Click on Add Bot, and then Yes, do it. You can see that it automatically named it the same as the application. That's fine by me. I'd like to have a nice image for it. I've downloaded one for Sirenscape, so let's put that on there so it looks good in my server. And you want to make sure that it's not public. And then click on Save Changes. Once you've done this, you need to authorize the bot to your server. Click on OAuth2, scroll down, and you're going to say this is a bot as one of the scopes. You're going to scroll down even further and watch this link as I start to turn on Connect, Speak, and View Channels. The bot needs those three things to be able to function on your server. It's now created a link that you can copy and open another tab, right click and paste, and go. And what'll happen is it'll show your account and then what servers you have access to to be able to add this bot to. So you're gonna click that tutorial server or your particular server and click continue. It'll tell you what permissions you're gonna be granting that particular bot. Go ahead and click authorize. You want to make sure that you are human. I hope you are. Click on I am human. And then you might have to do um, a, a CAPTCHA of some kind. Let's see. 
obtaining a truck. 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 I think that's a truck. Am I a human? This is a fire truck. Let's see if that does it. Now we have to pick another truck. Fire truck. That looks like a very blurry truck. Truck. That looks like a bus. This looks like the end of a truck. Maybe that's good enough. Ah, I am human. And then it'll go ahead and authorize that to your server. Okay, let's connect the bot to your Discord audio pipe. Click back to the developer portal and we're going to go to bot. And we're going to scroll up. And this is where you grab the token. Click on copy. Then we're going to open your documents folder again and go to Discord audio pipe. Open up the token.txt file and you're going to paste the token in there. Ensure that the token does not have any extra spaces, extra carriage returns, or extra characters other than the token itself. Click File, Save, and then you can close the token. At this point, the Discord audio pipe has enough information to be able to connect your bot. If you open up your Discord, you will now see that there is a bot sitting inside of your server, but it's offline. You probably saw my toast notification pop up during the configuration of the OAuth 2 token. So if we open up this Discord audio pipe, now that it has the token, it can connect. And you can see that it's connecting and it actually connected. You can open this up and make sure that it says cable VB audio virtual cable. You're going to choose your server and then you're going to say what channel that it's going to go into. Let me minimize this so you can see when I choose general. You can see that the bot now has appeared in the channel. Okay, let's grab Sirenscape. Open up your web browser and navigate to sirenscape.com. Sirenscape has multiple plans. There's a free trial for 30 days. There's a subscription based and there's a free account as well. We're just gonna test this out so I'm not even gonna sign up for an account. Let's go ahead and download the player. Click on download and then let's go to Windows and download for Windows. Wait for a few moments, let it finish downloading the application, and then we're going to install it by clicking and accepting the user account control dialog box by hitting yes, and then I accept the agreement, click next, click next, click next, click install, and then click next and finish, which will actually run Sirenscape. When the Sirenscape player loads, you can type in your email and password for the account that you have on Sirenscape that you've subscribed to. If you're a free user, you can click not now or you can sign in with a 30 day free trial. I'm gonna click not now. Over on the left hand side is the content and sound sets that you have access to. The colored buttons are accessible to all free accounts. The gray buttons you have to either purchase individually or have a subscription. I'm gonna go ahead and install Brindletown. While Brindletown is downloading, let's go over to search and look up sound mixer options in the system settings. This will allow us to modify where the input and output of any particular program on Windows is going. We can do this with any application, so don't think that it's only Sirenscape Fantasy Player, but that's what we're doing in this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and change the top output. As you can see, the top one is output, the bottom one is input. The top output to the cable input. This will ensure that Sirenscape's output will go to the cable input, which will basically pipe it into Discord audio pipe, which will shoot it over to your Discord audio bot. Let's go ahead and close that. We're gonna open up our Discord, so you can see the bot showing up. We're gonna also open up Documents, and then Discord audio pipe, open up Discord audio pipe. You can see that it's connecting. We're gonna put it into cable output, we're going to put it on Marison's tutorial server. You put it on your server and whatever channel you want it to be in. You'll hear that it just joined. You can minimize all of this. And then we'll go ahead and say, let's play the rooster. Make sure that at the bottom that you're turned up all the way to the volume because some of these sounds will be very quiet depending on, on what you're hearing. Let's go ahead and download the bugbear battle. And here we go. 
Let's say we do a fireball spell. All right, so that's all there is to this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to press that uh, like button so I can get some more views as well as subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other suggestions for tutorials, pop them down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys coming by and I hope your players enjoy the new ambiance of the sounds that you're gonna give them in their games. Thank you.